Topic A, everyone. I'm your host, Gary Perna. This week on Topic A, we're talking about the annual Hazleton Memorial to remember the September 11th attacks. It happens every year here in the city of Hazleton at Holy Rosary Church. The organizers are here with me. We're going to talk about why it's important each and every year to remember that day on September 11th, 2001. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. One of the largest fairs on the East Coast, the 160th Bloomsburg Fair, September 26th to October 3rd. Enjoy a full lineup of entertainment and great shows. Cinderella carriage rides daily, agricultural displays, competitive livestock shows, the Big Cat Encounter, and Sky Rides. The fair barns include over 1,400 animals, always a wide variety of food vendors. Visit us online at bloomsburgfair.com or call 570-784-4949. Now open for the season, Burgers Farm Market. Everything that's available now, you'll find at Burgers Farm Market. Sweet corn, fresh picked bread and butter corn and silver queen, cantaloupes, tomatoes and watermelon. Open 9 a.m. to dark, seven days a week. Stop by or call them at 788-1773. For delicious fresh fruits and vegetables, Burgers Farm Market on the St. John's Road in Drums. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? joined by Tony Colombo and, and Greg uh, Matz, who is the organizers of the September 11th uh, memorial here in Hazleton. Um, it, this kind of started back, uh, th the annual service started in 2002 on the one year anniversary, but the whole uh, concept, uh, I could say, behind this kind of started back uh, on September 11th. Uh, Tony, you've been with it from the very beginning. Uh, so take us back to, you know, that day, September 11th, 2001, you know, and how did Hazleton get involved um, with helping uh, Brother Firefighters uh, in New York? Well, on September 11th, 2001, to start the day off, I was actually working as a paramedic in Tamaulco Ambulance at the time, and um, I got a phone call that the Trade Center was hit by a plane. Uh, I was watching Blue's Clues because my daughter was a little girl at the time and we turned on CNN and sure enough I thought it was a Piper Cub and here it turned out to be a big jet and as you know well mm -hmm. the second tower got hit. Uh, immediately made a phone call down to Tamaulco to see if our paramedics were all ready to go and we called the Department of Health and we had a good friend Dr. Greco at the time, Dr. Vic Greco Sr. and he made a contact to New York's Department of Health and we were already, we were gone. Six paramedics were going to pick a truck up and head to New York to help with the rescue effort. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a phone call back that they didn't need paramedics because unfortunately they didn't think there was going to be that many survivors right. after the towers collapsed, so it was really going to be pretty green. It was just going to be recovery. Uh, but you know what I mean? Like you know me, I, that wasn't good enough. Uh, I started, I, I made a couple more phone calls, and before you know it, we had a big uh, rider truck that was donated by Penske with all kinds of supplies and two pickup trucks full of bottled water and um, so September the 14th we headed out of Tamaulco we drove to New York with the supplies. So th this started uh, as a you know as a a mission to drop off goods um, and you know to to give the the um, the men and women working up there at Ground Zero support that they need it which then turned into making Hazleton pause and remember 
um, the events on the one year anniversary um, and in 2002 when the church services started. So how did that come about and bringing the services to Hazleton um, and now a long-standing tradition um, between the Hazleton Fire Department uh, and Holy Rosary Church uh, and, and a lot of members of our community. Well, what happened was actually I had, I had another idea, which I have many, as Greg, <laughs> as Greg will tell you. Um, I had talked to Father Pat, may he rest in peace, um, and um, I said, Father, I think we need to do something for the victims of 9-11 and let Hazleton remember, because, you know, 343 firefighters plus the civilians, mm -hmm. um, it was just a tragic day, and I didn't think we should forget about it. So he says, what do you want to do? I said, I'd like to put a flagpole memorial in front of the church. And uh, he said, as long as it doesn't cost the church nothing, you know, he gave me, go ahead. Again, I made some phone calls, and the, phone, the poles were donated. We had a memorial marker of granite that was donated. Um, the ground landscaping was all donated. And um, on the September, I think it was the 11th that year, we did it on that weekend, we dedicated the memorial. And um, it was pretty well attended. At that time, we had uh, Vin, Vinny Tomino, who's been here ever since, mm -hmm. started coming. We also had another uh, a firefighter from New York that came up to be with us then. And um, it took off. It wasn't really big as it is today, but it was well attended. And then each year after that, it just gets bigger and bigger. And the community has been really, really great. And um, then after that, I, I actually was unfortunate to hook up with my then partner, Joe Bugda. Mm -hmm. And um, we continued to, to carry it on. I know, and, and have attending it, I think, from the very beginning, uh, for as long as I can remember, they're always well, uh, well attended. And Greg, you got involved kind of, and in the beginning, but kind of uh, more of a presence in, towards... Uh, Through the back door. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, so I, I wanted to ask you, you know, your recollection on that day on, on September 11th, 2001, you know, what is the connection for you to keep coming back and, and be part of this? It's my generation's Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. And we can't forget because of that, just like we can't forget Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. we've, we've become very friendly and allies, very strong allies with the Japanese 75 years later. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is we can't forget that, nor can we forget September 11th. 14 years later, we're still fighting a global war on terrorism. And, and if you look at the headlines daily, what, what now ISIL, but prior to that, Al-Qaeda, mm -hmm. uh, AQAB, or Peninsula, uh, a AQAP, uh, Boku Haram in Africa, what these groups are doing, it's absolutely atrocious mm -hmm. and outrageous. Not only can't we forget what happened 9-11, 2001, but we need, in my opinion, my humble opinion, to take a very strong, very proactive role in this fight against terrorism. And I know, you know, it, this every, every year, um, you know, when we, we gather at, at the church uh, with the service, the fire trucks are there, the firefighters are there, the, the politicians are there, members of the community come out. Um, you know, many years, I, I remember the church being packed. Uh, impact and, and it was last year I remember covering it uh, it being outside it was a beautiful night outside um, to do it why is it important for Hazleton a small little town in Pennsylvania each and every year to have a service to remember the, the victims of the, this horrible uh, whether it been in New York, in, in Washington, D.C., or out in, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, why is it important for our little community to, to remember the victims and remember that day? We need to do it. Everybody needs to do it. Mm -hmm. If other cho others choose not to do it, that's fine. We need to do it because deep in our hearts, mm -hmm. we feel that it's important. Uh, Tony is a, is a very overwhelming presence when he puts something in his mind and and everything that he's done to date mm -hmm. has been admirable this goes beyond admirable it's something if we can still commemorate Pearl Harbor we still need to commemorate 9-11 mm -hmm. President George Bush uh, or named it Patriots Day mm -hmm. so we we expanded it to include the military and police mm -hmm. Uh, along with the, the emergency medical people and the firefighters. It's just something that can't be forgotten because 
it was the greatest single blow on this nation's soil since Pearl Harbor. And for that reason, it can't be forgotten. And I, and I know, you know, it takes a lot to put a, to put a, something together like this. The the speakers who come in, I mean, uh, Vinny Chimino keeps coming back each and every year. He's kind of a, an adopted son of Hazelton now. Um, you know, stuff like that. So before we go for any further and I get into this discussion, I want to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about what goes into putting in something like this together and how important it is for the community members and people in general to come out and, and remember this day but also to remember those and to celebrate where we've gone to today. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Minutes away. That's right. You're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville, 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe, 28 minutes from Tamaqua, 20 minutes from Shavertown, and 28 minutes from Clark Summit. Barber Ford in Exeter and Hazleton. Online at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. For all your projects, large and small, Bedrock Gardens has it all. They are fully stocked and ready to fill your order. Rubber mulch and rubber curbing to match. Lots of color choices to pick from. Wall stone, natural stone, full pallets ready to go. Their bins are full with rich colored quality mulch that will look wonderful all season long. Finish off your fabulous outdoor space with their quality patio furniture and easy to assemble fire pits. Everything you need for your summer projects. Delivery available or just stop by and they will load you up. Bedrock Gardens, locally owned and operated. Call today. Greater Hazleton's end of summer celebration. The annual homecoming is almost here. Mohican Sun at Pocono Downs presents Fun Fest in Center City, Hazleton, September 12th and 13th, with great ethnic and festival food and free entertainment. Always a crowd favorite is the fantastic Fun Fest Parade. New this year is a corporate float competition. Admission is free, parking is free. For more details, call the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce or go to funfestpa.org. Fun Fest is made possible by these sponsors. It always feels good to pull my own part. Saves a lot of money, too. I've never actually pulled it before, but I think it's time. It's environmentally conscious, and it can be a lot of fun. If you're a do-it-yourselfer who's up for an adventure, then come out to Harry's You Pull It. Pull your own quality recycled auto parts for up to 90% off the cost of buying new. Savings like that will keep more money in the bank, which could lead to even greater fun. Harry's You Pull It. We got used.com. The Beer Garage, 202 East Diamond Avenue in Hazleton. More than just beer, coffee, all sizes, only $1. Get your lottery tickets here, too. Stop in today, The Beer Garage in Hazleton. Tri-County Business Machines has been serving the Hazleton area with office supplies and furniture for over 35 years. We are your local Kia Sarah dealer for all your digital Kia Sarah copiers, printers, and faxes. For exceptional reliability, sales, and service, the call to make is to Tri-County Business Machines. Tri-County Business Machines, keeping your office up to speed. Tri-County Business Machines, located at 117 East Broad Street, Hazleton. Phone 459-0754 or visit us on the web at tricountybm.com. today is remembering 9-11 and the 9-11 service that's put on each and every year here in Hazleton and we'll get to this year's uh, event coming up a little bit later but I want to go back. Uh, Hazleton kind of has an adoptive son from New York, um, Vinny Termino, a great guy to sit down and talk to. I've learned a lot from him in the couple of years that I've been now covering uh, the 9-11 service. But how did this connection happen, Tony? How did, how did Vinny get mixed up with Hazleton and start coming here each and every year. Well, the first year we made a phone call to New York trying to get a firefighter to come in to be with us, to be part of it. And um, actually the first year Vinny actually drove up that day. He mm -hmm. didn't spend, usually now what he does, he comes up the night before and spends the night at the firehouse. And, but that year he came up that particular Sunday morning um, and drove back and after we became friends. Um, and needless to say, we were communicating, talking, and one thing led to another thing, and then he actually, what happened, he said, I'm going to spend my 9-11s in Hazleton. So every year we've invited him, and he told people, and they asked him, why do you come to Hazleton? 
He said, I don't want to be in the city on 9-11. That's for people that lost family members. Let them, you know, not celebrate, but remember there, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Hazleton because Hazleton is actually probably one of the only cities or communities and fire departments that have done it right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. uh, the ten years continuously. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was a fire department that they called the New York Fire Department for a piece of steel on a ten-year anniversary, and like the fire guy said to them, well, "Why start now? It's right. ten years later." You know, um, well, we, we've been doing it right through. And Vinny said, well, I go to Hazlet, and I can be anywhere. Uh, if Vinny gets it in his mind, like today, I, well, I want to go to Italy, he calls the airport, makes the flight, and guess what? He's on his way to Italy. Mm -hmm. um, so it, he can be wherever he wants. He chooses to come to Hazleton. Um, and he's been here for many events. Mm -hmm. He doesn't only come for a 9-11. We had, uh, years ago, we had that um, young girl that poor Adriana Barlow was having issues with cancer. He came up to her uh, event. We made uh, Capriotti's New York City mm -hmm. for the day. Uh, when Father Pat passed away, he came for the mm -hmm. funeral. So Vinny's been in Hazleton quite often, and what he does, he likes to come here. He um, usually goes and see Harry at Bonanza because we've been, you know, Harry's been good to us. And on his way out of the city, he goes and see Dave at third base for a hoagie. And he laughs because when they, they, they prepare him to go home, they give him a bag full of hoagies. <laughs> and he said, just give me one, but they give him, you know how Dave gives yeah. him a, a bunch of them. Explain the steel. Well, I guess it's what now, at least it's two years ago now that we actually dedicated a piece of steel up at mm -hmm. the World Trade Center. Uh, at our memorial. And Vinny, what he did, Vinny was really active in getting it. Um, and what he did, he made arrangements. We actually went where they have all the steel and all the old, all the trucks that were mm -hmm. demolished that day at um, FDNY training headquarters. Uh, so Joe and I made a trip to New York and we actually went in and we saw all the steel that was all twisted and buckled and, and he actually had a welder. Welder, we took us over, he actually cut a piece and it off and we gave it to us and that's our monument. And he also gave us a, each a rivet. He cut a rivet off of one of the pieces. Mm -hmm. And Joe and I have a rivet at our house that's actually a piece of the, right. um, the Trade Center. And it's a piece of history. When it, you know, people come to Holy Rosary Church, they look at the flags, they look at the, the monument, and they just come to see the steel, and they just touch it. And, mm -hmm. and it, it, not that it brings closure, but it just, they remember that tragic day right. and show our American pride that, you know, we can't forget. And that steel is is a really, really tangible piece of evidence mm -hmm. to connect the person with the events of right. that day. I know I just uh, recently took a trip up and I, I did the museum um, at, at Ground Zero and, and walked through that and, you know, here we are 14 years later and it still hits you, you know, I, I'm walking through this museum and it took me three and a half hours. You know, it could probably taken me longer, uh, but you know, it, it's just uh, it takes you back to that day. You know, it, on September 11, 2001, I was a fourth grade student at Monte Area. You know, and I can still remember I was in the art room with Mrs. Thomas. You know, in our project that day, and I can remember them telling the teachers to. You know, um, each teacher got a, ha a note handed to them, and they you know closed the blinds. And that was it, and we went on our day, not knowing until I got home that day, you know, what, what really happened. And I think no matter what, as you said earlier, you know, it's, it's the generation now, it's their Pearl Harbor. And, you know, you talk to a World War II veteran, and they remember that day. They can tell you what they were doing, what, what, what they had. You know, and, and today, I, I could still remember, and, you know, Tony, and, and you, we all remember where we were, what we were doing. And it's to the point now where the generation, or I should say the younger kids behind me, weren't alive for it, or, you know, or were too young to remember anything. And, you know, it, it hits you when my 10-year-old, 11-year-old cousin says to me when we were on the tour in New York, you know, what, what, what is this? What is that? And you, you have to remember that well, he wasn't exactly. even alive yet, and you have to try to explain it to somebody. And, and it, it's hard to do that. And going forward, you know, Tony, how do we keep that alive? How do we keep this alive to make sure we never forget this? And most important, that history doesn't repeat itself. What we try to do, Gary, we try to keep it, uh, the community involved. Uh, the very first year, what we did was we reached out to the students at Trinity Lutheran. Mm -hmm. When we went down to New York on, uh, right after the, the, the fact, 
Um, Tree Lutheran kids, they had they, they, they did a collection. Mm -hmm. They had all kinds of clothing items and uh, food items, and they made a big, huge banner that they, the kids that couldn't sign their name, they finger painted and had a handprint. And actually, that, that whole banner, that made it to Ground Zero. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so what we did was we had the kids come to the event, and they pledged the flag. So what we're doing, you know, past, present, and we're trying to get the, these are the future. Mm -hmm. So if we keep these kids involved, they're never going to forget. And the Hazleton Fire Department, as long as I have air in my lungs, and I know Joe's in Florida, uh, but he's with us in spirit, and having good guys around us like Greg and um, Chief Leshko and uh, all the other departments that help out and help us, I don't think we're going to ever forget it. No, we can't. we can't. It's too important. And let me tell you that each year has its own significance mm -hmm. and its, its own memories. But two years in particular stuck with me in a very, very strong and personal way. The first year was early on when, when I got involved. Mm -hmm. Leo used to be the, the MC, yeah. mm -hmm. And then Leo got me involved because he had me involved in some other things. But it was the year we came down, somebody made uh, a float with the two towers. We, we had that, that was, I think, 2000 and I believe 11. What we did was we actually had the twin towers yes, made yeah. and uh, Keystone Job Corps made them and we had yeah. a float. And what we did on that float, we had all 343 names on the banner. Yeah, and throughout the whole float, the Parade of Fun Fest, Greg read the names of the 343 names. Leo and I, Leo and yeah. I alternated. Read it. And, and you know what, yeah, reading touching. those names, it was... It was mm -hmm. touching. Boy, did it make it personal. Oh, yeah. And then the second year that's most memorable in my mind is the year that we started outside. It rained like the Dickens, but what we did was we put together the New York Times uh, secured the radio transmissions, mm -hmm. all of the tapes from Fidney, from, yeah. Fire Department New York. They ch had them transcribed. Mm -hmm. And then we put together a, a timeline. Right. For years, 1993, when they tried to take down the Trade Center yeah, then, the which people yeah. don't connect, but it's, it was there. And Osama finally got it right. But from there, and then the timeline on 9-11, right. and that struck people. Hearing the timeline of the actual radio transmissions, he called me, he said, you know, there are people that want your notes. Could I get a copy? Yeah. And then I said, yeah, but that's the kind of effect that had on people. Mm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to take a short break. Uh, we'll come back, we'll wrap up the show, and we'll tell you about this year's event. And please make sure you mark your calendars and you want to come out to it. We'll be right back. Honey, you mean everything to me. But I just want to let you know one thing before we go any further. No one beats a Fairway Chevrolet deal. No one. Fairway Chevrolet Route 309 in Hazel Township. Hey, no one beats a Fairway deal. No one. Just when I thought I was out, it pulled me back in. Homemade quality food with guaranteed affordable prices. So come on down. Foodie's Place will make you a meal you can't refuse. Booty's Place reopening soon. Penn State is right here in the Hazleton area. We're top ranked by corporate recruiters. We have four year degrees, so you can finish here or at another Penn State campus. There's new scholarship money available. And there's no application fee when you visit here. Penn State Hazleton. Download your application fee waiver at psu.edu slash visit Hazleton. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Well, today's weather's looking great. What a day it's going to be. So when you're out there, remember, no one beats a fairway Chevrolet deal. 
No one. Fairway Chevrolet Route 309 in Hazel Township. Hey, no one beats a fairway deal. No one. everyone the topic and our remaining about four minutes uh, I want to talk about this year's uh, service it's coming up uh, very soon um, you know Tony what can we expect this year um, and what you know what's the drive to make sure that this goes on for many years to come and that the people continue to come out well this year we're gonna st we're uh, gonna be at Holy Rosary Church again mm -hmm. uh, we're starting at 7 o'clock we're asking all sister companies uh, fire EMS police to be there at 6.30 in Class A uniforms. Uh, at 7 o'clock sharp, we're gonna be bike piped in, and uh, we're gonna have a, a little service outside, uh, a prayer service. Mm -hmm. um, weather permitting, if it changes that the weather's in climate, we're all gonna go inside the church, of course. But this year, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, some spiritual readings. Mm -hmm. uh, Father Clark's gonna offer a little um, spiritual, not maybe not like a gospel, but some type of a little prayer service. Mm -hmm. And um, then, of course, we're going to have uh, Vinny Tomino going to give some remarks. Um, we're going to have Chief Leshko. Uh, we are blessed this year. We have a few other people involved. Anthony will give some remarks. <laughs> we also, we have uh, Mary Jo Cross, uh, who's been a friend of mine a long, long time. She was a flight nurse at uh, Life Flight. Mm -hmm. She's going to come up and going to do the national anthem as my daughter will do the Pledge of the Flag. Um, so it's going to be really a nice remembrance of the event. So we're asking um, the community, please come out and support us. Uh, I did apologize for last year, but this year there will be chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we didn't have enough chairs for everybody, but this year uh, I did make some phone calls and there will be chairs. Uh, and afterward we're going to go downstairs and have some light refreshments and Vinny will be there for people to talk to. And there will be taps and guns as well. That's yes. why I hope the weather oh, stays yes. nice yeah. because we'll lose, obviously. Right. Taps can maybe be done inside, but not the guns. Yeah, not the guns. And we're also, we're going to, I forgot, the, we're going to do the New York City Fire Department tradition, yes. ringing of the bell, the 555. Right. And, and of course, it, Friday, September 11th, uh, 2015, uh, it starts at 7 p.m. sharp out front of Holy Rosary Church, which is up on Poplar Street. You know, and this is a tradition that dates back to 2002. You know, some things may have changed, some people may have come and gone, but the, the, the fact of the matter is that it will continue to go on to make sure that we never forget that day and to make sure, you know, we continue to remember and celebrate the lives of the people who were lost that day and the tremendous effort we've made as a nation to keep moving forward. America had a wake-up call. You know, one of the good things and bad things about America is we're called on to do something. We go in, we don't look, we do the job, we don't look for accolades. More often than not, we don't even look for a thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we go on, we go home, we go on about our way and we forget about it. But we can't forget about this. Not as long as they're still killing people today in in, in a terroristic fashion. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, for goodness sakes, they're crucifying people, they're beheading people, they're killing children. You know, it's, it's, Bad. we can't, we're not doing enough in my opinion, so we can't forget. And like I said, this, uh, there's two words that Joe and I have in, uh, instilled, and we want to get that out to people, is just never forget. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I remember early on, I remember the day when I was in work, I was taking classes at the Lehigh Career, and on the 11th, that particular year, at that particular time, right. we had the, I had the instructor, we stopped, and we paused for a moment of silence. Um, since that tragic day, there's been 113 firefighters that have passed away since last year yeah, yeah. that have uh, from the effects of 9-11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's still going. So mm -hmm. please, uh, if you don't remember anything of our, our services that we do at Holy Rosary Church, never forget that. 9-11 uh, is just, I'd like to see it actually made a national holiday. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming on. We went right to the credits, which I like. Thank you for coming on. I invite you back every day. And remember, September 11th, 2015 at Holy Rosary Church. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time.